So for a while I've been wanting to get back into vlogging some personal projects development, but I felt like I haven't had the time lately. But instead of just waiting to have a ton of free time to get back into it, I have decided to just share what I can of the free time I have for personal projects, no matter how little I get to work on it on any given week. I had an old and very quickly thrown together brainstorm design for an app, and I think it'll be the perfect type of project to share in that type of vlog. Plus I kinda like the space theme the brainstorm had, and I kinda want to see it through. So starting with that design, I took a bit of time to think through a basic concept and a general problem I would like to solve with it. My personal problem is I like using to-do apps to plan out my tasks and my days. By design, the ones I use offer a non-linear way to complete your tasks. That means there's nothing stopping you from skipping the task you don't really like as much, and that's exactly what I end up doing every single time. So instead, what I want to create with this app is a task list that forces me to complete my tasks in order, so I can't skip over the ones I don't like and have them end up lingering for far too long. It's probably not an idea that would suit everyone, but as always when working on personal projects, the easiest path is to try to solve a problem for yourself. You'll be surprised at how often that problem actually exists with other people too. So with that in mind, I started setting up a couple of basic views to set the groundwork for a few basic flows in the app, like a simple first pass at the ability to complete a simple task list in order. I haven't written Swift UI code in a long time, so it's been a bit of a learning curve to get back into things but it's nice to find back those very easily accessible quality of life features, like how easy it is to animate this list into something a little bit more pleasing. It actually made me want to learn more about how to animate transitions with SwiftUI, so I spent the rest of my free time that day learning about it so I can use it better in the future. On Wednesday, I didn't have as much time to spend on the project, so I just tried to get a simple task started to keep the ball rolling. I was using a hard-coded default task list to get the basic UI started so far, so I wrote a basic view to create a task list within the app. I also did a little bit of refactoring. Getting back into SwiftUI and remembering some of the ways to do things will probably mean a ton of refactoring. I try not to overcomplicate things or stress too much about writing it the right way on the first try. So long as the project keeps moving forward, it's easy enough to refactor as I go and learn the correct way to do things as it's happening. On Thursday, I went through the app and wrote down a couple of the obvious tasks that needed to be done so I could have an easier time jumping to new tasks when I would complete one. With the bit of time I had that day, I settled on setting up a main view UI and make it look a little bit more pleasant. I'm not really doing this in any order, I think it's just enjoyable to just jump on whatever seems interesting and fun that day, and see where it ends up. The initial view without any current task list looks pretty bare, so I drew up a very simple spaceship to fill in the screen a little bit better and integrated it into my view. I also love splicing up views with subtle movement or effects to make them feel a bit more alive, and the spaceship lended itself particularly well to that idea. I decided to have a bit of fun with a particle emitter, which I had never used with SwiftUI, to create a fire trail behind the rocket. It's not much, but it looks like a fun starting point for our main view within the app. We'll see where it ends up later down the road. So there you have it, 30 minutes or an hour here and there this week when I had time to play around with this project. I'll be trying to publish one development vlog no matter how much I get to work on the project every week for at least the next month. So if you'd like to see how it evolves, consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next video and until then, take care.